Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to our new lecture and today uh, we are discussing a very important topic uh, these days and that is how you set up a 5G secondary node uh, in an NSA uh, NR network. By NSA we mean non-standalone and uh, first I will uh, just briefly explain uh, what non-standalone means. I have explained it in my previous uh, lectures and if you want to look into it, you can uh, go to those lectures. I provided the links in the description as well. So uh, to start with, NSA means uh, that uh, to access 5G, we have to set up a master uh, E node B uh, node. And in that case, uh, basically, if this is our LTE node and this is our 5G node and this is our UE. So in the first state, the UE sets up a connection with your LTE and then your LTE node basically enables a connection to your 5G node. And your LD node is basically connected to the MME uh, for the radio signaling uh, stuff uh, for setting up uh, the bearers. And your 5G node is basically communicating with your E node B on the X2 interface. So this is uh, the basic concept of uh, NSA. Uh, but today we want to discuss that how the UE basically sets up that 5G leg. So in the initial phase, uh, the UE sets up the initial context. For example, uh, you switch on the UE or you move into a, a UE uh, into an LTE cell. The UE will set up an RRC connection uh, request to the uh, to the LTE cell using a simple attached request. Uh, this, um, the UE and the LTE node will exchange uh, the messages and an LTE node connection will be set up. Once the LTE node connection is set up, then the LTE node will send a message to UE for RRC reconfiguration. This is one of the many uh, RRC reconfiguration messages that the LT nodes sends to the UE. It might be to add a secondary cell, it might be uh, to uh, start monitoring a particular cell. But this particular RRC uh, reconfiguration message will be about the event B1. Now B1 uh, is, uh, you must have heard about in LT uh, different events, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6. B1 is also a uh, event uh, already being used and this is for your interact. So this B1 will basically communicate uh, to the UE that at which level you should start monitoring your NR uh, secondary cell so that you can add uh, that secondary cell. So this will basically be uh, RSRP, it can be RSRP, it can be RSRQ as well. But this will basically give you that uh, value. Uh, it can be NEG118, it can be NEG120, it can be NEG110, it can be anything. So that will be the value uh, of that uh, signal when the UE is receiving that signal from the NR uh, cell. Once it starts receiving the signal better, for example, this is your NR cells RSRP. And for example, this is uh, the as the UE moves closer. And this is your threshold. So this is your B1. So once uh, the RSRP of NR cell touches B1, then your UE will start mirroring it and it will start uh, to attempt RATCH. And the UE then from here will send a RATCH to NR and after sending that RATCH, it will get a feedback uh, or a response from the NR cell. And once uh, those processes are complete, uh, once the UE has set up an NR leg, then it will send a, a message 
back to the LT node that the secondary node of NR has been added. So, this is uh, the basic concept that how NR cell is added into, uh, into an LT uh, node already. So, the master node will always be LTE and then your secondary node will be 5G. Now, the second process uh, that is defined in 3GPP is how to release that 5G node if some issue uh, arises. So, one of the first thing will be RSRP. If your RSRP goes uh, below a th certain threshold, uh, your NR light will be released. Uh, uh, and then it, the concept can be around your SANR, it can be around your quality or around anything. So that has also been uh, prescribed by 3GPP that what kind of process you want to enable to release this connection and then again go to an LT only mode. This was a short uh, description on how the B1 threshold basically is used and once you are working in 5G networks, this threshold will play a very important role in your uh, NR functionality with in NSA mode. So thank you uh, for listening to today's video. Do subscribe and do share and let me know if you need any more uh, information. Thank you.